All right, I'm out at one of the parks with the V3i. I'm gonna play around with the analyze with the sizing function again and just, you know, mess with that today. See how accurate it is. Got one uh, in the low conductor range, just a little deeper. Now that don't look good at all. It has almost like that trash type, you know, humps to it. All right, said it was a little deeper. Said what, about five inches? Oh man, the ground's hard. I even sharpened this thing. Whew. Just hair deeper. Set a little bit deeper target. I can see it. It's a it's a beaver tail. It was kind of on it was kind of on edge. It was kind of standing up at an angle. It's probably why the reading, but it was trash. Here's one in kind of the screw cap. A little too high to be zinc though. Those two frequencies hitting together, usually uh, coins will, like a dime, the, the green would be a lot more dominant, but if it's mixed with trash, there's no telling. See on here, the red and the green are almost identical. And to me, it's pin. Uh, to me, it's just a little too wide. Maybe screw cap zone. We will see. wrong all the way around. This looks like a, what are they called, grommets off like a tarp. All right, here we got one that appears to be like something in the shallow zinc area. That's a little bit narrower. Still, to me, still just a little wide for a zinc penny. Could be wrong though, but it's a little bit wide. Oh, this ground is hard. I have to go find some easier digging, especially for zinc signals. Okay, I was wrong on that one. It was a zinc penny. It just looked a little wide for some reason. Right, this one here is in the copper penny or possibly dime range. That looks pretty good. Let's see what we got. More into the hard ground.
it's a bent copper penny. I don't know if you can see it from that angle or not. It's, I don't know if it's hit by, I don't know, it only way it's hit by a mower. It ain't all scratched up. Here's another copper penny dime type. looks pretty good. Looks like it could be a smaller target. There it is. Another copper penny. Got a shallow quarter signal. Green is way dominant. It's a nice small size. Uh, it probably is a quarter. Let's just be a couple inches down, a little bit out of reach. Too deep though, just a couple inches, I would think. There it is. Gosh, I think oh, I actually nicked it too. That thing sh could have been too far away from being silver. Man, it's worn completely down. As soon as I picked the detector back up after digging that quarter, I got another hit. Probably three feet over. Looks like another quarter. That looks better. Looks like it probably is another quarter. This wasn't too deep either, I don't think. A couple inches. the root to the ground. Yeah. I just seen it. Another clad quarter. There it is. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong. Let me wipe that off. It might be. It looks, looks funny though. It don't look like a quarter. Oh, look at that. Sacagawea dollar, I think. Is that what that is? Let me try to focus. Yeah, that's what that is. Hit just like a quarter. I'm on a roll. This will be my th third quarter signal in a row. Looks pretty good again. See, so maybe we can get another dollar coin, huh? I found a 50 cent piece earlier, but I wasn't filming. There it is in the bottom of the hole. These things have got had to have been out here forever. Like I said, just not old enough to be silver. Hopefully, so we can focus in on the date. See it. It's got to be 60 something. It's kind of a weird number here. You don't see 78 a whole lot, or I don't anyway. Showing fairly small too, so we'll see. Maybe it's a quarter and a dime. That'd be halfway between 80, uh, 75 or 74 and 83, something like that.
maybe silver ring, right? Said you don't see 78s too often. I tried to dig under it on purpose, like get underneath it because I think it's shallower. Actually, I didn't go deep enough. Good thing I didn't hit it. that might be brass it, it's size pretty small too I mean it, it if I was guessing I would have thought it was dime size but see that you know nothing's perfect on these detectors that sizing feature works pretty good but I said it's not perfect here is a low conductor wasn't too confident in this, in this one. I'm not really expecting a nickel, but if it is, you know, that's all right too. A gold ring, whatever. Okay, a little bit deeper. It was right, it was probably five inch mark. Still down there, actually, it's a little deeper, probably just a little bit deeper than five. Oh, it's a nickel. Maybe I need to say I'm not expecting a gold ring. That was pretty good. I mean, it was um, fairly deep, it's probably six inches deep, and it, it hit it pretty good. All right, it's starting to get hot, so I think I'm done for the day. But uh, it wasn't out very long. I got five quarters, a Sacagawea dollar, a half dollar, two, four, six, nine nickels, seven dimes, and 11 pennies. So that wasn't too bad for hitting up the old trashy park this morning.